This is a first squad. Like Kirk, hold up, boy. X squad, you don't know them you boys. Been talking facts on every topic. Overall, we just talking noise, just being boys. Covering Texas sports in them tall hills. That with the fake pads over to Elliot. Better gorge grills like a car for real. Yeah, Cowboys gonna bring a bow back, Lord willing. Yeah, Mavericks gonna bring a ring back with Mark in it. We live sports, we talk sports, we dream sports, we eat sports. The teacher about to teach the course. Welcome to BS3 Sports. Ay, 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 ay. Reels. Welcome to the Weekend Wrap-Up Show, episode 113, entitled Naomi the Great, Naomi Asakawa, who won the Australian Open. We'll be talking about that. We'll be recapping the Senior Bowl. Also, we'll be recapping and talking about the Pro Bowl. Also, we'll be getting into NBA, boxing, we got college basketball, we got a little bit of Major League Baseball news. So, we got a lot to get into, we got a great show, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Shout out to the Networks, X-Squad Radio, which this show was on, also my, my fam over at the No Phony Podcast Network Showing love as well If you want your very own BS3 Sports shirt or hoodie You can definitely hit me up for that If you need it in any color combination Uh, My guy can make it happen So hit me up If you need anything Whatever you need I can get it for you And also, let's give a happy birthday to none other than the greatest. He hosts the the greatest podcast, also West Coast Wednesdays. He hosts on right here on X Squad Radio. It's his birthday today. So happy birthday to the one and only D Greatest. Coming out with great podcasts every time. Every time he does a podcast, it's something that's great. So happy birthday to him. Shout out to Mo Cheese in the building. Said he's working, but he's listening. I appreciate that. That's me pretty much Monday through uh, Friday. So I hear you. Shout out to Tiffany P&P. In the building, breaking news, Anthony Davis wants out of New Orleans. We will get to that. Shout out to 334 Bama Boy in the building as well. It was going off on Chief Raga show that uh, went off just before mine's did. So make sure you go check out Chief Raga's show once this show is over. But let's get into uh, some Pro Bowl news here. Not Pro Bowl, Senior Bowl. Senior Bowl is over. Uh, And obviously, like it's called, the Senior Bowl. So the seniors play. They get an opportunity to showcase their talents. Uh, They get an opportunity to show what they have. And the North ends up winning 34-24 to with a victory over the South. Daniel Jones of Duke. I hate to have to mention the Duke's player's name in anything, uh, but I got to give the kid his props. He passed passed and ran for a score 
uh, to help the North win. So I got I to gotta pay homage where it's due. And he did a great job. They won. So big ups to him and his performance. Shout out to Tiffany Sports and Hills for tuning in. Thank you. So big shout out to uh, to Daniel Jones. He's projected to be, I believe, a, a top, probably first couple of round pick. So we'll see what happens to him. The Pro Bowl did go down. I did not watch it. I watched a couple of blinks of it. Uh, but the NFC East did not look good. And guess who the NFC East was ran by? Get just 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 take a while guessing. You probably already know. Jason Garrett in the or in the Cowboys organization. So that was Jason Garrett. That was Kellen Moore. Uh, they really didn't show anything, uh, and that's with some of the best talent in the NFC. Uh, they end up losing 26-7, to AFC 1. Uh, Dak did have a touchdown to Austin Hooper on a, on a, on a, on the highlight that I've seen. There was a catch or a pass from Dak to Amari. Didn't end up going down how I expected it to be. It bounced off of his chest or his hands, one or the other. So it really, wasn't a good outing, and if this is what this squad is going to look like being ran by Kellen Moore, uh, I don't want to see this. Uh, I don't. I don't want to see it. So we'll see what happens from here. Uh, sounds like it's pretty much a shoe in with Kellen Moore. Shout out to Denise Milk and Cookies. Thank you for tuning in. JB Jennings. Thank you for tuning in. Um. Patrick Mahomes and Jamal Adams win the Pro Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes also, I believe, stop me if I'm wrong, but I believe he's going to win the MVP of the entire league. He should with 50 touchdowns. Uh, to me, that that is enough for him to, to win the MVP. I was able to lead this Chiefs team into the playoffs. No, they weren't able to win the Super Bowl uh, or make it to the Super Bowl, but I have to say they had a great season, and a lot of it was on the back of Patrick Mahomes. But I, I had to ask myself, you know, in the words of Killmonger from Black Panther, is this our OC? Talking about Kellen Moore, is this really going to be our OC? And, and let it be the Cowboys to always have overreaction Monday. But it's true, though. I mean, like, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to see him. JB says, I didn't watch one second of the Pro Bowl. It should have been Tariq Hill touchdown, not Jalen Ramsey. Garrett would have gotten someone hurt. Yeah, it, it is. Like And like I said on Friday's show, I don't think they even really need to have a Pro Bowl. I just think they can call it the Pro They can announce people that made the Pro Bowl. But I really don't think you need to, you need to actually have a Pro Bowl. Just say they were elected to the Pro Bowl, just like all pro. You don't really need to play the game. You don't. But... The NFL is going to work out every possible avenue, every possible avenue to get some more football on TV. And they do a great job at it. They do a great job at keeping football on TV as long as possible. So when when the, the Super Bowl is coming up this Sunday, so we already know that, uh, I'll be talking about that on Friday's show. But there's a league that's going to be starting coming up in February. And shout out to Holly Newsom. Thank you for tuning in. There's a league that's going to be coming up. It's called the American Alliance or Alliance of American Football League. Uh, this league is going to be starting up. I don't know how this is going to really work. I do know they have some big names. I don't know if you guys have heard about this league. They got six teams. 
Um, I believe they're not trying to compete with the NFL because that that's not going to happen. Uh, there's no way you can compete with that with that giant. But they do have uh, some great people on on deck to help with this thing. Uh, they do have Palomalu. They also have Justin Tuck. They have uh, Ebersol, whose dad was was helpful in the and the launching of the XFL. So they have some pieces in place. I don't know how many people are actually going to watch it, uh, but it is going to give you some football, you know, going into February. So uh, if you're interested, it's supposed to be coming on very soon, coming up in February after the Super Bowl. Did you see the Pro Bowl trophy get broken? (laughs) By Jason Garrett, that was, not Jason Garrett, but by uh, Jason Witten. Uh, that was crazy. I don't know if I've ever seen a trophy just fall apart like that. Uh, Tom Brady says there is no way he's going to retire after this season. I think Tom Brady's going to have to be either forced out or knocked out, one or the other. I don't think he he's not going to be you're going to have to like push him out the door or he's going to have to have like a career ending injury because he's saying he wants to play till he's 45. I don't know how long if that's true. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But all I need all I need to happen on Sunday is I need the Rams to win this game. I need them to it doesn't even have to be convincing. I just need them to win the game. Shout out to the real deal. I mean, Courtney Harden coming through. So let's all, if you're not a, if you're not a Patriots fan, I need everyone to root for the Rams. That's, that's it. You got one job. We're all rooting for the Rams against the Patriots. That's what I want to happen. I'm pretty sure everybody except frequent listener Grego, who's the Patriots fan, doesn't want that to happen. Pro Bowl was no good as usual, and people are blaming Jason Garrett's play calling again for the NFC scoring only seven points. You're right. You're right. It's almost like anything anything he touches results in disappointment. Uh, Brady doing a Brett Favre, yeah. And he may end up, who knows, he may end up leaving the Patriots and going to the Jets and then going to the Vikings and doing a travel around. I don't know. I just know that I don't want to see the Patriots win the Super Bowl. That's all I know. Everything else is whatever. So we'll see what happens. Super Bowl coming up, like I said. Let's get into some NBA talk from this weekend. Some great NBA talk. Luka Doncic. Now, look, I'm not the, I don't think he is great yet. But I do think, I do think he can be great. Uh, But he is the youngest now. In NBA history, to record a 30-point triple-double, he surpassed Michael Jordan. Uh, That is pretty amazing. Uh, But this is Doncic's first year. So what I say about a lot of rookies is give them time. Uh, They're going to have mistakes. They're going to mess up. Uh, Their second year, to me, is really the true test for what you really have uh, shout out to my man Vince Wright, the sports governor. Thank you for tuning in. Brady playing until he's fifty, says Courtney Harden. I don't, I don't think he playing until he's fifty. He will probably try. Now Vinatieri can probably play until he's fifty. I believe he's right now. I believe he's right now forty five. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm gonna pull that up real quick. But Vinatieri is, you know, you're a kicker. You don't necessarily have to 
He's not going to be involved in any major tackles anytime soon. 